Hello. 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 The moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> I did a skincare routine. It was one of my first videos on YouTube. It was back in September, I think. And I continuously get a lot of questions on TikTok and even I'll get DMs on Instagram about my skincare routine. And even though I already have one, I guess it's changed a little, not really, but I thought I would do it again. Just to, you know, please the crowd. As you can see, I have already showered, I scrubbed my body, I shaved, I did myself tanner even, and now I'm going to do my face. So I have already washed my face. I use the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash. This one is 10% benzoyl peroxide. I have also used the 4% and i feel like this one is a little more drying obviously because it's the maximum strength one but overall i have not seen a huge difference and it's even winter time right now and my skin hasn't been peeling or extremely dry or anything and i think that's because of the moisturizers that i use i use a lot of moisturizer so anyway my first step that i do is i wash my face I washed it in the shower, but sometimes I wash it in the sink. It doesn't really matter to me. And what I like to use are these little scrub gloves. So these scrub gloves are amazing. I wear them in the shower and this is how I scrub my body um, before I shave. And I also use them to scrub my face. And why I like it is because I use this to scrub, but then this is like a creamy consistency. So it's not too rough and it just makes your face feel really soft. Like my face feels so smooth. However, if you use a face scrub that has, you know, beads, like an actual face scrub, don't use this because it will like break your skin. I just use this because I like how my face feels after I use it. So that's that. Another thing is I... I do have acne prone skin, but it's not like hormonal, I don't think. I think it's more so because my skin is so sensitive that like any oil or anything touching my skin just like will make me have a rash or a breakout or something. So that's why I use this. I also use this. It's Epionce Milky Lotion Cleanser and it feels, I would compare it to like Cetaphil or Cetaphil, however you say it. It's super gentle it leaves your skin feeling moisturized hydrated but also clean i kind of switch off but i mostly use this one but i also use this one so that's that okay another tip just on a side note don't touch your face if you are not like in your bathroom washing your face and doing your makeup don't touch your face it drives me absolutely nuts when i see this is just a rant kind of it drives me nuts when i see people doing this like in a photo and their hands are touching their face and then like they complain about having acne on their cheeks and it's like yeah you just ate a pizza and now your greasy ass fingers are touching your face and seeping grease into your pores like no wonder you have acne on your cheeks <sighs> i've been watching a little bit of hrh collection i think her name is alex on youtube and i think she's like really bringing out my like more aggressive side <laughs> so <laughs> also i feel like i'm talking like i'm giving like a school powerpoint right now so i need to loosen up a little bit i feel like kind of awkward doing these types of videos because i feel like it's more of like a tutorial instead of just like you know a shits and giggles situation so yeah i have washed my face using this scrubbed my face using the scrub glove and now what i'm going to do and i even waited to do this because on my last video i didn't demonstrate that i did this or how i did this and then people were like well can you show us how you do it and so this time i've waited to do it so that i could show this camera and i'm even gonna fold up toilet paper so that when i wipe it off i will show you how it looks okay these 
are little razors. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Target, CVS. They even sell them like at grocery stores, at Ralph's, Walmart. You can get these basically anywhere. It's just a little blade and it gets off your peach fuzz and kind of like, I just feel like it gets off like your dead skin. I also use them to do my eyebrows. 10 out of 10. Unlike other people, I know some people who will use like a serum on their skin while they do this or that sort of thing. However, I don't like to use anything while I'm doing this. I used to or I do sometimes, but I don't prefer it because I feel like it just scrapes off the serum and then I feel like I'm wasting the serum. So I just do it with a dry face with nothing on my skin. So depending on how your skin is, I would gauge that accordingly. But my skin at the moment is not peeling. It doesn't have any broken areas. So I feel comfortable to just do it dry. I'm gonna do this in the mirror, but like I'm trying to show you. So this is like really awkward, but I just go down. And one thing you have to be really careful about is don't drag the blade going like this way because that's how you cut yourself. I think I'm just going to do this and then I will record it and you can just watch, I guess. So that is going to complete my shaving of the face. Just for reference, this is what my tissue looks like. <gasps> so as you can see, my peach fuzz, my maybe extra dirt or extra makeup came off and my skin feels so soft. Here are some benefits of using this. Your makeup goes on way more smooth, way more even. Your face just feels amazing. It feels so smooth, so soft. It looks so smooth and so soft. My face feels so good right now. I like it also because it doesn't hurt. It's not like you're waxing your face off, especially like if you have like a little mustache or your eyebrows. It's so much better than waxing in my opinion because you're not like hurting yourself. You're not yanking on your skin and you don't have to like put on that oil afterwards. I don't know. This is just so much easier. Like that took me like three minutes to do that. So now my skin looks like this. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Now what I do is I put on my eye cream. This is from the brand Good Faith. Soothing eye cream plus caffeine. It looks like this. I just use about this much. Dab my middle fingers together. Okay, this is a big thing that really irritates me to watch. You don't rub under your eyes. Again, I'm not trying to be aggressive. I don't know why I just got angry about that, but you dab, you dab gently under your eyes. Never rub under your eyes, even when you're doing your makeup. You don't like yank under your eyes. The skin under your eyes is so thin and sensitive and fragile you have to be careful with it. So after I do my eye cream, I will sometimes use this. I don't use it all the time. So it's not a crucial part of my skincare routine, but I do use it maybe like two times a week. It's the Biba de Sousa Los Angeles. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a plant stem cell serum with peptides, intense repair and strengthening. They actually sent me this. If you look up this company, even on YouTube, a lot of people have done videos for them. Hailey Bieber did one. That's the only person I can think of. It's really good. I really like it. And then once I have rubbed that in and it's like dry feeling on my face, then I will go in with my moisturizer, which is La Roche-Posay Extra Dry Skin Body and Face intense repair moisturizing cream. The last time that I did a skincare routine, I used the eczema cream and my eczema went away. So then now I'm just using this. This was literally like $15, I think. It comes in this big bottle. A few things to note. 
I have extremely sensitive skin, somewhat acne prone. I have eczema. I have period oral dermatitis. So it's not like I just can put whatever on my face and it looks fine and it feels fine. So with that in mind, this has been amazing for my skin, which is sensitive. So if you have sensitive skin or really dry skin, this would probably be good for you. I just do like a pump <laughs> and then I just put that around. This moisturizer is pretty thick. It definitely feels like an intense repair moisturizer. So if you're not used to that feeling of like having a thick moisturizer on your skin, then you might not like it, but I like it. Look, I'm even putting more on. I just like it feeling really hydrated and soft and smooth and I like to look like a glazed donut when I go to bed. Another moisturizer that I use is, and it's the, from the same brand as this. I don't know how to say it, but this is what it looks like. And this is really awesome too. My aunt is a dermatologist and she got me these for Christmas. There's like something in my eyeball. And I love them. Shout out Doe, thank you. She also got me my baby Yoda robe. She's the real MVP. She told me to not use this every single day. I use this maybe two times a week. It's really good, I like it a lot. But if you don't wanna get that one and you wanna get this one, this is mainly what I use every single day. So now that I've done that, my skin is looking good, I think. So my camera said that it was getting too hot or something, so it turned off and I played on my phone for a little bit. But what I was saying is I use this Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream, 1% retinol. I use it once a week or every other week. I used it last night, so I'm not putting it on right now. I don't use this a lot because my skin is sensitive. However, I know some people who use retinol every day or every other day. So it just kind of depends on your skin type. I really like this because I feel like it just kind of makes your skin look a lot smoother or even I feel like it kind of helps with uneven color. Like I woke up this morning and I felt like my skin just looked nice. Oh, I think the last thing that I do for my skincare is I put on on castor oil this one is organic castor oil it's from amazon and then it came with this little spoolie thingy what i do is i just put on my eyebrows you can also put on your eyelashes however when i've done it on my eyelashes it like seeps into my eyeball and then it like really irritates my eyes so i don't really do that anymore that completes my nighttime skincare routine during the week i don't wear makeup to work because I have to wear a mask all day and I just don't want to get up early to do my makeup just to have it all wipe off in a mask. So what do I do? <laughs> I didn't mean to do a question for that. That was weird. What I meant to say is what I do instead of wearing makeup is I take a cotton round. You know what a cotton round is, right? Just like the cotton ball round things. I just put water on it. I do it around my face, okay? And then I put on this. This is the Elta MD Skincare UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Facial Sunscreen. It's amazing. I did a video before on my favorites and I said that I really liked the Super Goop. I never ended up buying the full size of this because my aunt gave me this one. I would compare them to be pretty similar. I would recommend either of these. So that is it. That is my whole routine, my whole spiel that I have to share. I always feel like a weirdo when I do these because because I just feel like I'm talking to myself for such a long time. I have some exciting things planned this weekend, which I'm really excited about. On Sunday, I'm doing something exciting. I might vlog it, but I'm not sure yet. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any questions about anything. I respond to all of my comments. So yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching my skincare routine. <laughs>